does a cancer today, like you, maybe the, the next generation, do they need to be operating singers and to be singers of a big stature? First of all, you should know that this author of the legends may be in his own head. <laughs> <laughs> this is very dangerous. I go up with five members, with Lenny Lanz, with Rabbits, with Moshe Gemshoff, with Israel Alvaro. Each of them gave me part of my DNA. A candle doesn't always see. A candle is a teacher. A candle is someone who conveys the tradition of our people. And the root, the spouse of the congregation. I lectured about it many times, and the moment I lecture about improvisation, will be some aspects of this other as the Hazan, a seder, the orderly territorial chanting, Hazan Haresh, the Sufi, the outburst of emotions. But this Alva was a great pedagogue. And he created, according to my dear friend Joseph Levine, this Alva was Hazan, Hazanut Hasedra, Hasedra, the Hazanut of the book, because every word that was in the prayer book had to be interpreted. And you can hear it even in the Schweizer of Zutzer. You can hear the incredible, the incredible defeat of his Polish Neshama. Right. You should know that David Kerner, or the great musicologist, asked in the elevator of the school of sacred music in New York at 68th Street, Kato Alto, he advanced the Tiana Sezunde. It was few advances. He could not understand how in 24 he brought his entire soul. Mm -hmm. But the soul of the candle is not only the singing. Mm -hmm. The soul of the candle is to be a pastor, is to go to the hospitals and to play the children and to teach our mitzvahs and to go to shivas. I don't know how much of it he did in those days. I was asked to speak about what happened after the uh, 35 when he, when he left. <coughs> I do remember when I say this at the age of 10 or 9 in the middle school in Tel Aviv, he took my hand and the, uh, that is the crash. It's a Yiddish? It's a Yiddish? The crash. <laughs> he squeezed my hand but he didn't say one word. In all the years that I was in the college, I asked my aunt Halloween, but who did it in English? He's afraid that he's going to your call. He was afraid that he's going to my, to my own head. And Michelle Alexandrovich, one of the great candidates in Kansas Conventions, I heard him say, this is my nephew, and he wanted to be like his uncle. But he passed me many years ago, so I was very happy. I am absolutely, what you asked me, I think that I have grown this career. He wants to go for 41 years, and now it's going to get into 12 years, but not because of my skin, because of what I'm trying to do with my few incredible students in the Geiger. Seminar and the Geiger Shula as a part of the faculty to teach what a chazan really is. Thank you very much. We don't have the great thing of having 
In fact, on the first day, we're going to commemorate its destruction. We're going to see its hologram. We're going to see the three-dimensional picture projected to the Ministry of Culture. This is where the Senate used to stand. So we're going to once again see what we have lost here. We heard the voice of Arta, who illuminated, who filled this vast space, this largest uh, religious building in, in the city back in those days. What do we have left of this here today? Where is not in the building? What? How is Arta alive here? Or is he alive? Is there anything that we can sense about in time talking to our audience who is not part of this convention? This will help the legacy is, of course, his incredible tenor, empirical, colossal voice. But he imprinted his neshama, his knowledge, because he was Talmud Chacham. He was, maybe he didn't have a smicha, but he was a real sefer. He knew the liturgy, he knew Talmud. I was living with him for three years in New York, where he was living, where he was writing the values of, of the uh, Nusach, which every school, from Michigan University to Aleph, yeah. Saul Shechter, to the AGC, to the seminary, they teach the books. My misfortune was that I came to the Hebrew College, we did Castro, which there by his grandmother was last year here, but I was with him sitting in his study. Many times he called me and says, Kindling, can I do this modulation from here to there? What is Kindling in, in Deutsch? He said, Can you do this modulation from here to here? I said, You're asking me? Because of the
know that I want to be here like him, that uh, it is a very beautiful example to keep or welcome to, to look at this because it's really in, in rhyme and like a poem with the little boy she read it. Thank you. 
Jesus. Oh, 